I really didn't want to share this information with everybody, but f it. This is a great way to make footage look amazing in DaVinci Resolve. This has the look applied that I'm talking about. This is right off of the camera. This is converted to Rec. 709. And this has the look. So let's start over. We have a naked clip right here, and the first thing we're gonna do is put a color space transform to transform from S-Log3 to Rec. 709. Next thing we do, color space transform from Rec. 709 to Cineon. Next thing we do in our LUTs, we have film looks. This folder is in Resolve for free, the free version or the paid version, and it's been there unchanged forever. It's a group of film LUTs that's built to go on top of a Cineon curve. What we wanna look at is the six down here. This is all for the P3 color space, and we wanna work in Rec. 709. So I'm just gonna start out by putting the D60 on here. So just so we can see this, I'm gonna compound these nodes so we can turn them on and off. So just a Rec. 709 transform, and right off the bat with what is built into DaVinci Resolve for free, we can go from this to this, which is incredible. I'm gonna label this HDR. Not that this has anything to do with HDR, but I've talked about this in the past. It's just to note that we're gonna use the HDR wheels. This is very important. Map the HDR wheels to sgamut3.cine and slog3. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. Maybe bring up the shadows just a touch. Bring down the light a little bit. And here's the HDR adjustment on this clip. If you find that this is too warm, you can push to 65 and it adjusts it just a little bit. But I'm going to keep it at D60. So I'm going to save this to memory number one by clicking option one, saves up here, and then you can apply it to anything with command one. And we'll go to the next clip and apply that same exact look. This is Rec. 709, and here's our look. Might bring this down a little bit, maybe bring down the highlights a little bit. Possible shadow lift. Rec. 709 with our HDR adjustments with the look. Same thing for here, Rec. 709 with the look. This is just Rec. 709, straight off the camera, color space transform, with the look. The key to remember is you can't just apply this LUT to any footage. The footage needs to be transformed into Rec. 709 and then to Cineon. It's amazing to be able to use this for free, built into Resolve, not a LUT pack that's online that was created by somebody that may not work totally right for your footage. Having these skills in DaVinci Resolve to be able to build looks either before a shoot or after a shoot is extremely valuable because sometimes those looks make it through all the way through the post pipeline, even if you're not working on the post production or the grade. So having these skills is very useful. Shoot some footage, bring it into Resolve and try this and you will be, you will be pleased. I mean, this looks amazing right here and we haven't even done anything. The only thing we did was adjust exposure slightly off of camera with the look. We are not doing any type of grading at all. It's actually incredible. All right, getting towards the end here, Rec. 709, and with our look, it looks so much better. There's still more that can be done, but great starting point here. This is way too warm. I'm just going to cool it down. This is without any HDR adjustments and our look, and this is cooled down, which is the first clip that we've done anything besides any exposure adjustments. And the same way that this video was when I posted it a couple months ago, we are back in New York. Off the camera, with the grade. Alright, that's it. You're welcome.